The hip consists of two main parts that fit together like a ball and socket, the femoral head and the acetabulum. Additionally, cartilage provides cushion between the bones. A total hip arthroplasty, or total hip replacement, is usually performed when severe damage from arthritis or injury has made movement difficult to perform without severe pain or restricted range of motion. During the procedure, the femoral head and acetabulum are replaced with artificial components. There are different approaches when performing a total hip replacement. In this video, we will focus on the anterior approach. During a direct anterior total hip replacement procedure, patients lie face up on a specialized table. To help position the prosthetics more accurately, the surgeon may utilize a fluoroscopy machine. Considered minimally invasive, the operation starts with an incision near the patient's groin, usually between three to six inches. After incising of the joint capsule, the surgeon removes any damaged cartilage or bone within the acetabulum and secures the prosthesis in place using a special cement or screws. On the femur, the surgeon removes the femoral head, shapes the remaining femur to fit the prosthetic stem, and secures the femoral component using cement or other techniques. Once both the components are firmly in place, the prosthetic femoral head slides into its acetabular counterpart. From here, the surgeon tests the movement of your new hip joint, verifying it is properly positioned with an x-ray. The surgeon then closes the joint capsule and repositions the muscles. The surgeon may place a drain in your hip to remove excess fluid and close the incision with stitches or staples. After completion, patients can expect to stay overnight in the hospital for two to three days, typically starting physical therapy the day following surgery.